Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm here in sunny, well, it's actually nighttime, but sunny California, so to speak, and I am monitoring radiation as usual. Um, as you can see, well, let me show you. Here I am. Hello. And there's uh, was some jet noise in the background. Um, so here I am. Got my, uh, my Blackberry right there. Some rock samples. I was studying earlier for the hell of it because I... I just do that. I also found that California is weird because they have um, kiwi slices that are dried. What a freaking weird thing. There's all my gear. Everything from my, got my notations of science stuff, maps, souvenirs, all kinds of stuff. But that's not really why I'm here. I'm here to talk about um, radiation. As you can see, I have my Geiger counter right here. Um, sometimes I have it by the door, sometimes I don't. I'm just getting general readings right now, ambient, mostly gamma, of course. As everybody probably knows, beta and alpha. I don't really do very much with these kinds of readers unless they're air sniffing. Now, I have the door open over there, so I am technically sniffing. As you can see, I have a lime here. i cut the light on here, so this, this might help a little, maybe not. Now, here you can see, this is uh, these are the readings I'm getting currently. This little flow chart, I mean, this little spiky chart here shows you may or may not be able to see it. Let me uh, change the view to um, two-dimensional. You see the ups and downs, maybe? Maybe you do. Maybe maybe you don't. Alright, well, anyway, view back to 3D. Um, I'm getting about 29 counts uh, uh, as maximum with an average of 16 counts per minute. I think it was better without the light. Um, if I click on... Uh, my spreadsheet here, I've taken, how many readings have I taken? Just in the last couple of days here, I've taken, um, uh, here's 1,276 readings, with 26, uh, no, 20,000 counts total, give or take. It's about 16 counts per minute. The point is, California seems to be about the same as Virginia. I'm reading in my house 14 counts per minute on average, with a nice long statistical baseline. Reading 16 here. Now, one could argue first that I don't have a baseline. For all I know, this place could have been 12 before the Fukushima incident. And that that's completely true. But we've had multiple rainstorms, and I haven't noticed an increase. I haven't noticed much fluctuation either. When it was really, really windy, I did notice that for a short time, my average counts per minute went down to like 15 for a short time. But, um... I haven't really noticed very much change of anything whatsoever, and you'd think I would get more if there was, uh, uh, well, more radiation, so to speak. I've run my counter across the ground a few times. Um, I haven't picked up much of anything whatsoever. To tell you the truth, it's been quite modest, which is good, I guess. Anyway, um, here we go. Here's antiproton.com. That's anti-proton.com. That's me, of course. See? And um, I've added my cumulative data from the 16th to the 30th. Apparently there's a lot of noise outside. Yeah, that happens. So anyway, um, as you can see, there's me talking. And here's my cumulative data. If you click on the cumulative data link, you will see a huge amount of data, like a, maybe a megabyte's worth of readings, all for you to see. Just pages and pages of it. And this will allow you to get a good view of what the uh, deal was in Virginia. Making a lot of racket out there. Uh, from the 16th of April through the very very end of the 30th of April. So as you can see I'm publishing my results from Virginia. Now uh, let me just tell you a couple things. The results I, I'm publishing here from Virginia on anti-proton.com Let me show you how to get to that. When you go to anti-proton.com you will see let's go there. Here's my main page. Up here at the top there's a link called daily radiation data. I haven't updated it recently because I've been in California, so it's not up to date. Usually it is. If you were to click on a, a most current data, it would take you to the most current data, and that was apparently on the 14th 
But anyway, I update it every couple of days. But these two links down here, the data from the 1st to the 15th and the 16th to the 30th, is using this Geiger counter right here, which as you can see, I've gone through this many times before, is a CRM100 with an alpha uh, window on the front of it. It's a nice little Geiger counter. I'm going to get a better one pretty soon. And the CRM100 uh, uh, sits in exactly the same location every single day. Well, and right now it's in California with me, but generally speaking, by my window, it sits every single day. Same exact place, always. And the reason for doing that is I want the re readings to be consistent. I have a pre- and post-Fukushima baseline for my house, and there has been no average change. There's been plenty of instances, brainstorms and stuff, where it has gone up. And we can only take a guess as to what caused that. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can take an educated guess, but I can't say for sure. So, until I can say for sure, I can't say for sure. Now, I'm going to try to calculate some statistics out of all of this and make a, maybe a more formalized report pretty soon. But um, until that point, please come to the website, look at the radiation data yourself. There's a lot of information on here explaining, like, you know, um, uh, accounts per minute, microsieverts per hour, millisieverts, Miller Rankins, Miller M's. Talks all about it, shows you everything just in case you want to know. Lots of explanations. Also, there's a link to radiationnetwork.com where you can go and you can see um, what's going on in the world. See? That's where I usually am, right there in, in, in Virginia. But I'm not there right now. I'm in California. I'm one of these little dots over here. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. The data is there for you to look at. And uh, it's, I would say, pretty valid considering the fact that I am... Um, very carefully uh, took it all in and I put notes in my logs whenever anything is different or strange. I think you'll see that everything seems to be pretty fine in the uh, West Coast. I was actually quite impressed. I figured I would get higher readings than I did. I've checked uh, all kinds of food and stuff. Here's some cashews, the kiwis. Everything I check um, comes out pretty straight up. Not, not, you know, not, nothing shows up whatsoever. Perhaps with a powerful scintillation crystal I might be able to see something, but at least with my little little Geiger counter right here, I haven't been able to see anything. And by the way, my Geiger counter's name is Natalia Radiova. If you're Russian, you might find that amusing or insulting. Sorry. Natalia Radiova. It's kind of a joke. But anyway, uh, Zdravstvite Natalia. Yeah. Um, Ulibatsa. Yay. Well, that's not going to smile, so... Uh, yeah. Um... Okay, so I'm going to go to bed now because I have to hop on an airplane tomorrow at 7 in the morning to get back to the, uh, well, back to the east. So this has been um, Tom from anti-proton.com, and I will see you guys back in the uh, United, St no, United States of America. Where the hell do I think I am? I'm in California. <laughs> Idiot. I'll, I'll see you back in the east uh, as soon as possible. Bye-bye.